Ah, I see you want more. Knocking on the door of greatness. Well, I'm in a mood rarely seen around these parts, and if you're ready, I shall embrace you, pull you close, and thrust my knowledge deep within you. Like a bear wrought from its slumber and hibernating happiness, I shall swipe away your impish disinclination with a paw so mighty that even the Mayan mountain god Ka'akowitz would be proud. For when your grenades are spent, your last bullet departs your gun's sizzling chamber, and you slump to the mud crying in cold. What are you left with? Your knife, your bat, your spade or pickaxe, and the cold steel that lusts for blood and the warmth only a flailing body can bring. I'm DRBC007, and I'm bringing you another battlefield boot camp, The Way of the Knife, a melee masterclass. And I'm going to help you hold your hand and watch my masterpiece unfurl. Number one, The Way of the Knife. Used to carve stakes, open letters from loved ones, and puncture opponents' soft parts, the noble knife has been used as a weapon since its inception, and even among the poppy fields of France, where modern weapons of war raped the lands and demolished those that were folly enough to traverse those muddy hilltops, the knife found its place. As you can see, you have many different knives to choose from, from the no-frills combat knife to the still-unlocked trench fleur, but all the knives do the same damage, so it's all about aesthetics, just like a naughty knight on the town. Who cares if she can't string a sentence together? When she makes my tummy tumble at the sight of those smooth and supple calves. Protect me, O oh Lord, for I am but a mere mortal. Protect me from myself! As you can see, the damage of all knives is just below half, but the speed in which you can penetrate, naughty, is very nippy, and the kill zone very, very wide. So swipe away to your heart's desire, and please do comment and let me know which one you like the look of the most. For me, it has to be the Jambia knife. Anything that's described as equal parts beautiful and deadly excites me to the very core. Number two, bats that bludgeon. Next in the melee masterclass comes the clubs, a heavy form of melee weapon that have a few extra features from their small pokier counterparts. Designed to break bones and bat away the blues, these weapons had one purpose, to mash enemies into oblivion. But because of their extra weight and sturdy design, they also found use as blunt but effective tools. As you can see, the Bartek bludgeon and the spiked club have the ability to break wood. Always useful if you need to impress a Swedish beauty of your manly prowess, and you can damage certain vehicles. So run towards any damaged light vehicle and usually inevitable death, and start swinging. Oh, and the kill animations, brutal every time, but with a macabre satisfaction like no other. DRBC smash, bash, bonk, and bash. Number three. Heavy hitters. The last group of melee weapons are bigger and more brutal than my worst lady friend. Her name was Magdalene. Her Parisian charm and bulging curves cursed my heart the day I laid eyes upon her. And although everything told me to run, I stayed. She taught me to love, and she taught me to cry. <laughs> Magdalene! With the highest damage but lowest speed and kill zone, these are designed to finish off an enemy in one fatal swoop. The hatchet can also cut through barbed wire as well as break wood, and the pickaxe can damage vehicles and split a tree or a skull. And then there's the shovel. Well, you might as well use it to dig your own grave, in my humble but always right opinion. Number four, puzzle pieces. Down to luck or extravagant expense come the most glorious and special of the melee weapons. Although they do nothing more than their more common comrades, they do indeed titillate the eye and soften the soul. You unlock them by randomly collecting puzzle pieces from battle packs. Despite my extravagant wealth and reckless frivolous spending, I have yet to unlock all of them, having only the sawtooth knife and the Bartek bludgeon. However, the most desired cookery and billhook are so close. Yes, my pretties, daddy will have you soon. <laughs> I can say little more, so I'll let the terror do the talking. Hiya! Hiya! Slice it, slice it, nice and nice. Number five, the kill zone. As I've mentioned previously, and once in a previous lesson that you clearly missed, and as you've undoubtedly seen, each melee weapon has a kill zone. For anyone that doesn't know what this is, worry not, for Papa DRB is here for you. The kill zone is an area where your melee weapon will pull off a one-hit kill with a kill animation. Regardless of weapon damage, you will kill your opponent in the most satisfying of ways. The kill zone is activated by your position to an enemy. The bigger the kill zone, the wider the kill angle you can take. Small, medium, large. The heavy hitters have a smaller kill zone and the knives the largest. Also, killing a sentry with a little penknife poker and teabagging his pathetic corpse is as close to ecstasy as you can achieve without being wrapped in the warmth of a woman's thighs. Well, that is all I can muster. Take your weapon of choice, plunge it into the hearts of anyone that stands in your way. Scream to the gods old and new, curse my name or whisper it with admiration and awe. 
But just remember, a single blade can win a war. Make that your blade. Make that your legend. Let me know in the comments below your favourite melee weapon and please do remember to like this video because let's face it, you loved it. To share it and of course subscribe. For more tips, tricks, profound nonsense and all things Battlefield 1, I'm DRBC007, signing off.